Welcome to Creative Tian Channel. Today we have another project using LK150 knitting machine. And we are going to knit a house sleeper. So this is similar to socks, but a simplified version. And here is my construction. We cast down from here. I have 18 stitches and do the short row and reverse short row. And then we will cast down stitches on both sides and then reduce it down until I have four stitches on each side. And then I will cast off those four stitches and then do the short row, the same as the toe. After we finish the knitting, I can just do a little crochet edge or if you want, you can do the ribbon or knit a piece of ribbon and attach to the opening on the top. So let's get started. I'm using the regular median weight, worsted weight yarn. I have my tension set to eight and I have number seven for the mast tension. And all my stitch counts and uh, tensions are for reference. You can adjust it after you need the first one. I'm going to start with 18 stitches and you can start with waist yarn and rebel cord and start knitting. That way you have chance to do the Kitchener stitch to connect this part and this part. And I always like the e wrap because that's very simple and straightforward. So I'm just going to do the e wrap and knit one row. And I'm going to start my show row. I'm starting from here. I'm going to show row to about one third of the total stitches. So one third of 18 is six. I will reduce to six stitches in the center and then reverse show row back to 18 stitches. And I make sure the Russell level to one for the show row on both sides. And I push out the first needle opposite to the carriage all the way to D so it will not knit. And then we can knit one row. And now the carriage is on the right side. We'll push out the needle on the left side all the way out. And then for the right needle, we place a yarn below that needle and we'll knit one row. And we'll keep repeating that. Push out the needle opposite to the carriage and place a yarn below the needle close to the carriage and knit one row. And I will continue until I only have six stitches in the middle. Make sure you have enough weight in the center or push it with your fingers because we are going to create a pocket and those stitches will get very loose. Now we have six stitches in the center. We want to do the reverse show row. It's very easy. We just want to move the live yarn under the first needle on the side of the carriage. We have carriage on the left. So we are going to work on the first needle on the left side. So place the yarn under and move the stitch to the C position. So this stitch will be knitted back. We knit one row. Now that stitch is knitted back and we repeat the same on the right side. Make sure to move the weight and check if all the stitches are knitted properly. Sometimes you might have to hand knit it if it's not knitted properly. So move the yarn below, place the needle to C position and knit.
place the yarn below, back to C, and knit. Now we just finish the short row. And you can see we just create a pocket here. That's how our toes. And then we can look at the chart. We have nine stitches on each side. I want to cast down nine stitches. And since my live yarn is on the left side, I'm starting with casting on nine stitches on the left. And I'm going to take the yarn off the carriage. I will just cast down nine stitches by hand. Push the needle out. I'm going to do similar to e wrap, but I will wrap it twice. I will place the yarn over the top and then go under. And then the second time we place the yarn in the latch and pull it back. So I'll kind of wrap it twice. And try not to make it too tight. You'll be difficult to knead the first row. Open the latch. And I want to make sure I have weight. And we're going to thread the yarn back to the carriage again. Now we're done with show row, we'll change the Russell lever back to number two for stocking and stitch knitting. And I'm going to knit one row. Now we have nine stitches on the left side. We want to do the same for the right side. We'll pick out nine stitches and we'll do the double E wrap. Pull back. Make sure we have enough weight. And then we are going to start the decrease. Every six rows, we will decrease one stitch on each side. So totally we'll have about 30 rows. And you can adjust the decrease based on your own dimension or your swatch. So I'm changing the row counter back to zero and I'm going to need six rows. After six rows, I'm going to reduce one stitch on both sides. I can just use the transferring tool and move one stitch in. Another way is to use the two prong or three prong to do the full fashion decrease. That will look nicer. So I'm going to use my three prong tool. Pick up the outer three stitches and just move one stitch in. And the first empty needle will be back to A. We are not going to need this one anymore. And we'll repeat the same on the left side. Use my three prong, move one stitch in. And the first empty needle back to A. And I will keep repeating that. I'll need six rows and then decrease. Now it's time to decrease again. Move one stitch in. Continue knitting six rows. Now I'm at the end of this decrease and I'm going to bind off the four stitches on each side. 
Since my carriage is on the left side, I will bind off the first four stitches first. The last one. So those four stitches, the needles go back to A. We are not going to need them anymore. And I want to add some claw weight here because we are done with those four stitches. Place the yarn back to the carriage and knee to the right. Now I'm going to bind off the four stitches on the right. We can bind off the same way or you can bind off any way you like. All the four needles back to A position. Now we should be back to 18 stitches. I will thread the yarn back to the carriage and start in my short rows again. We'll do the short row the same way as the toe. And first I want to add enough weight so this doesn't cause problem here. Now to do the short row we will change the setting. The Russell lever back to number one, back to one. And we'll repeat the same thing. Now my carriage is on the right side. I'll pull out the needle on the left side first and knead one row. And then pull out the needle opposite to the carriage and place a yarn below this needle and knead one row. And pull out the needle, place a yarn below, knee one row. Pull out the needle to D, place a yarn below, knee one row. And we'll continue until we have six stitches left. Now we have six stitches in the center, we can do the reverse short row. So that's this needle closer to the carriage. Place the yarn below and uh, move the needle to the C position. And we need one row. And repeat on the needle, this one, the first one that's closer to the carriage side. Below the needle and move to C. Wrap the yarn below the needle and move it to C. And we'll keep repeat until all stitches are back. Okay, now we are done with all the knitting. I can bind off the whole row and take it off the machine. That's what it looks like after taking off the machine. Here is a decrease. So next thing we just need to sew it together here. We have four stitches here, four stitches here. And there are nine stitches on each side. This is after sewing up the seams. Next, I'm just going to crochet a simple edge. I'm going to pick up stitch from the back side. After attaching the yarn, I'm chaining three stitches and I'm just going to do double crochet all the way. You can use any stitches you like. When I go to the tip of the toe side, I reduce the double crochet to a few single crochet stitches, about three stitches, and then I will do the slip stitch. So it's reduced in height. And I will do the same on the other side. I will have three stitches of the slip stitch. 
Just pour through. And then I will do three stitches of single crochet. And I'm back to double crochet. Wrap the yarn, insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull through, and then pull through again. I will just keep repeating that until the end. 